Hello, and welcome to this video on creating hierarchy diagrams. As with many data visualizations, there are plenty of software options available to create these in. But today, we're going to look and see how to create this in Google Slides. Now, before we get into making one, let's have a glance at what we are looking to make. This is just a very basic outline with a lot of potential applications. Hierarchy diagrams can get a lot more complicated, and they can be more vertical than this horizontal one. But this is just the basic structure. I use letters here, but let's just say we're talking about a business chain. A could be the headquarters, B could show the regional offices that report to the headquarters, and C could be the branch locations that report to the regional offices. All right, now that we have a basic picture of what we want, let's go over to Google Slides and try to recreate that example. Okay, we are in Google Slides now, and we've got a blank slide to work with. To get started for our hierarchy diagram, we're going to go up to the insert and then come down to Diagram. Now we've got a menu over at the right, and it's got different diagrams to choose from. Hierarchy is the second one, and that's the one that we're wanting to make, so we'll click on that. Levels is preset to three, and that's what we're going to keep it as because we're going to use the business example from earlier, with the headquarters, the regional offices, and the branch locations, but you can choose four or five levels. So we'll leave that. The color is also customizable. We'll go ahead and do purple. And then there's a couple different layout options. Some of them are more horizontal and some of them are more vertical. We're just gonna go with the top one. Okay, so now we've got a nice basic skeleton to work from. We're gonna need to add some more boxes to ours. However, this is gonna be a really good starting point. Okay, so let's fill in the top box here with the headquarters. Business HQ in Chicago. Okay, now it's gonna get a little bit more tricky because in our example, we had three regional offices and in our diagram here, we just have two. So we're gonna to need to make some space and make some new boxes. Okay, so what we need to do is move this up a little bit so that we have some space to work with. So I'll just highlight it and move it up. Okay. Then we need to highlight these three boxes because this is kind of the same thing that we want again. And we'll copy and paste, and then we'll move it down below. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is getting a little tricky because it's kind of a manual process. It'll try to help you out, but it is just gonna be a lot of moving things around. So if we click on this line and we hold Shift, and drag it up, then it'll help us create a straight line up to the top line there. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Let's scoot these bottom ones up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now our skeleton is a little bit more complete and we are ready to type in the rest of the locations. And I've done that in slide two, so we'll just scoot down to that one so we can see what that looks like. Okay, so there's our hierarchy diagram all filled in with the business headquarters up at the top the regional offices, and the branch locations. If you want to leave it like this, you can. It's just text boxes, so if you want to move things around, then it's very, very customizable, and you can arrange it however you'd like to. All right, so that wraps up this video. We've covered the basics on creating a hierarchy diagram in Google Slides. As we've seen, they provide a number of templates to choose from. And then it's very customizable as to how you want to arrange your hierarchy diagram. Depending on the version of Google Slides you're using, some of the features that I showed might be in different places or aren't available. Uh, you might also actually have more features that you didn't see on my screen. But things should generally be roughly the same. The Google Support website is really useful for learning how to do things, including graphs and formulas. Uh, but please reach out to the library as well if you have questions. Thanks for watching.